fuck you guys. <laughs> You're going you... to take on the Turbo Man! The Turbo Man doll! I must get it for Jamie! I love Jingle all the way. Even if it is one of the worst Christmas movies ever. Of course, you all know what the best one is. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, there's two best uh, Christmas movies. Depends on whether you're talking about Die Hard. Oh, wait, no, I guess three. Die Hard, Die Hard 2, or Lethal Weapon 1. But I guess maybe Lethal Weapon wins that because it has Gary Busey in it. Gary Busey does make almost everything better. Smashing a car through Danny Glover's house and then yelling at his TV <laughs> when it's playing the Christmas Carol. Ebenezer Scrooge sticks his head out of a window. Boy! Boy! What day is it? And Gary Busey shoots the TV and he's like, It's goddamn Christmas! That's the best thing ever. Boop. Boop. God bless your insanity, Gary Busey. Was that pre or post motorcycle crash? Uh, it's, you know, I'm betting it's post. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is this is a scary jump right here. I don't like it. Apparently, uh, Rush is immune to spikes. That'd be hilarious if you tried to call him down and he's like, "I'm here, Mega Man." And just explodes when he hits the spikes. And you're like, well, that could have worked out better. Okay, so... One part of this wall that you're climbing up somewhere is false. Over here on the right side. I forget where it is, though. And yeah, you've got this right, too. This part right here. I forget if it was this one or one of the ones further up. Oh, too close to the wall. Fuck you, Rush, you lazy sack of shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do remember it was on one of these searchlights. I think I'm... Yep, right here. Okay, yeah. This is where the uh, fucking huge bolt was. No, it's not the huge bolt. Oh, it's not? Oh, yeah, that's right. No, the, yeah, the energy balancer? The big arm. Oh, that's right, the longer arm, right. Fuck. Okay, yeah, it was right here. This is the second place where you meet up with Proto Man. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. No, I haven't. Really? I, I never would have guessed that. Aw, oh, come on. Just because I have wings on my back, I can't lie on my back and slide around? Hey, fuck you, Proto Man. Your skin's made of cardboard. Wet cardboard. Yes. <laughs> Anybody who's played Proto Man mode on Mega Man 9 knows what the hell I'm talking about. Get it, Rush. This is the big bolt, yeah. How long was that again? Like. I think it was. Uh, about 200. Yeah. Give or take. And now here comes everybody's favorite thing. Oh, oh yeah. First these burners and then the sort the of... Death lasers. Yeah. The pseudo quick man-esque part. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know of too many people who actually can properly navigate that part. I'm pretty sure they all just go fuck it and damage boost through it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that is the strategy. <laughs> If you're going for a no-hit fucking Mega Man 7 run, more power to you, guy, because that's not my bag. <laughs> and here we have a truck with a face on it. Firing little mini-missiles that are like, rah, 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 as they come at you. <clears throat> yeah, I think this electricity actually is the truck's weakness. And then... It's like, he's gonna have to see the car dentist, I guess. Why would they give a car teeth? You'd just be the dentist. <laughs> he's a car. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Yes. Yes, you are. It's Turtle Man! 
Fucking. <laughs> oh. Actually, you know what? This fucking Jingle All the Way is also one of those movies that has Sinbad in it that I when I don't hate Sinbad. Sinbad's fucking hilarious in that movie. I'm trying to be your buddy! I'm trying to be your friend! I'm trying to uh, get the thing! <laughs> he fucking blows up a place with a uh, mail bomb package. Or he went postal. <laughs> yeah. Also, I think that was one of the last movies Phil Hartman was in before he died. Phil, <laughs> Phil Hartman died as he lived like an asshole. <laughs> hey, honey, I've uh, I've been sleeping around on you. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna go take a nap on the couch. Ah. Uh, don't do anything with that knife you're holding there. Yeah, cool. And then Phil Harmon was never heard from again. Actually, no, that's I can't not hear this. It's fucking with me worse than it should. <laughs> Actually, it was that, and he was still on news radio when that was going on. What a terrible loss to news radio that was. Because then after he was gone, they're like, who do we get to replace the irreplaceable Phil Hartman? I don't know. Let's get John Lovitz. He'll John Lovitz is a man who is cursed to mediocrity for the, all eternity. Yes. Anything he touches turns to meh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and yes, news radio really did go to shit after that. I can't think of a single thing that John Lovitz has been in that has been anything other than mediocre. It hasn't been terrible, <laughs> but it's only been mediocre. <laughs> I think the only thing he ever did that was actually really good from start to finish was when he had his own animated show called The Critic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I, I forgot about it. It was John Lovitz. <laughs> Because he mediocrity, right? <laughs> Wait, that was decent. There's no way in hell that John Lovitz was attached to that. <laughs> okay, and so here we have. It again. I I can't remember, remember the button combination. Whatever, normal music because fuck you. I like the normal music better. <laughs> yeah, go shade man. My favorite boss. And I mean, not to mention, too, the stage is kind of badass. It starts off all Castlevania, and it's just, it's probably the, it's the one that has definitely the most time and effort put into it. Yeah, that is true. This episode, or the, for a 16-bit game to actually, especially like even a Mega Man game, to actually take time out, a time out to create an atmosphere, that's pretty neat. I'm sorry, just like everything else in this game, it just sort of is there and it kind of fits. But this one, it just, there is atmosphere. It feels good. Also, now that I think about it, I, uh, oh no, wait, I think you actually eventually have to take both yeah, you do. paths through this. I know that there's one hidden, you have to kill the pumpkin both ways. Yeah, it all depends on how you defeat the pumpkin. Whether you just use your buster or whether you use its weakness, which I think is the oh, electric to, shot. You have to uh, kill it either with its eyes closed or eyes open. Oh! That is right. God damn. There's the... I always remembered those bats being from the uh, animated show. And then, the, what was it? Fucking... Mega Man X, for some reason, only has, like, about, like, three of those bats in him. Which is weird, because it has its own type of robotic bats, then it just has those kind of... The, the balls? Yeah, Mega Man ball bat things uh, as well. Although, I remember in, like, Armored Armadillo stage in X1... Those things seem to have the better chance of actually dropping one-ups than you need to. I think they had it that way just so uh, you could do the uh, sure you can or Hadouken trick, probably. Mm. Yeah, maybe. And then here's the enemies that only appear on this one particular path coming up next. 
Well, not here per se, but. What does it exactly mean? I forget what you what you're going for on this other path here. Ah, oh, you know, fucking evil wolves and shit. Lights they out. transform into werewolves when the moon's out. You can't really see it very well. You have that night guys. Oh, oh shit. Okay, yeah, that's neat. I actually never knew that. <laughs> and they're much, 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 much harder to kill. Are you looking for Proto Man? Or no, wait. I think you had to go uh, down at the pumpkin boss in order to get to yeah, Proto Man. Yeah, um... Count Von Wiley. <laughs> I forget, is this just another giant bolt or is this something decent? Maybe. I forget. I know that there was a reason to take the top and bottom path. I just can't remember it. Oh no, it's uh, the energy saver. Oh yeah, about. that's what it was. Okay. There's spikes around here. Uh. I don't know if it'll start you before the pumpkin. I or... think it starts me right at the pumpkin. Okay. And if not, then I just wasted a life. No biggie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Pro speedrun strats, yo! Yes, very speedrunning me. <laughs> And done. Oh no, it's gonna crush me. Oh no, it has no hitbox now. <laughs> okay, yeah, and Proto Man is just beyond that guy, if you have everything you need. I don't have everything except for beat. Oh, yep. Oh shit.